Hey, welcome Virgo to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Robin and this is Aries Fire Tarot. I'm just getting ready to do finance readings for April 2019. Keep in mind guys, these are um, general readings. This is the Gilded Tarot. So hopefully the reading resonates with every single viewer. Um, it probably won't though. So keep in mind, these are general. If you want a personalized reading, all my information is in the description box down below or the about tab on my channel. So other than that, I hope you enjoy the reading and get lots out of it. Let me know in the comments how you're doing, what you think of the reading. Um, definitely take a second to subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to do four Gilded Tarot and then um, clarify with Essential Tarot after that. So one quick more shuffle here um, with the Gilded Tarot and then we'll get going on your reading. I feel like they're a little out of order. All right, here we go. For you Virgos, nice card to start off with. If you guys don't already, you're going to have something to celebrate here. Um, we've got the Four of Wands, which definitely tells about being in a very happy place. You put in the hard work or, you know, some work or whatever, you know, um, and you've gotten to this place where you're really comfortable and happy and, you know, you've got everything is blooming, family around you. Um, like really, really in a happy place. And if this is not happening for you guys right now, I see it happening happening sometimes in, sometime in the future, which is really indicated here by the Eight of Wands that I've got here, which is something moving really quickly for you. So Wands are about action. They're fire, right? Um, and fire just burns at a rapid rate. So something is going to happen for you guys. You can see they're launched through the air. Something's definitely um, happening for you guys. So if you don't see it right now, like give it some time. You have to also remember um, divine and perfect timing, right? You could be trying to manifest and going like, huh, what's happening already? Why is this not happening? But there is something happening for you guys. And you just have to keep everything going. Like keep yourself in, in a forward motion here, like with the two of pentacles, um, and you can see that there's a ship coming in in the background, you know, and it's sailing in towards you. So you just have to keep focused on what you're doing right now. Um, and it's definitely going to come in. And you know what, you guys, after all the readings I've done, and this is like my favorite deck out of all the decks I have, I've never noticed this dolphin here in the background. So um, if you feel like it, go and have a look at um, like totem animals or spirit animals and check out dolphin and see what that means for you. Because there's a reason that I'm seeing this for the first time. Like, oh my God, clueless, right? So because it's going to mean something to you guys. So definitely check that out and like keep that... Keep on your course. It's going to be working for you, even if you're tired right now. You know, what's a little bit of tired right now if it's going to pay off for you? And that's definitely, you've got a celebration here. This is your anchor card, like your um, outcome card. When I pull the first card, that's what I consider to be the outcome card. And we've got the high priestess here who, like... All these cards have a ton of different meanings. If you've ever studied, studied tarot cards, um, they could mean many, many possible things. But to me, the High Priestess, she is just up above it all. Like she's floating above everything. Um, sure, she has concerns, but she's not letting them get to her. You know, she's in her own world. She's, she's just really floating on air. Really, and that's how she's feeling. I think I said that twice, for which I deeply apologize. But you know what I mean? It's just that... That happiness, that joy in what you're doing. And it that's what attracts more to you, right? Um, all those blessings. <clears throat> But really high focused energy here, something really coming in quickly. But um, I just put the Gilded Tarot down and I grabbed the 
essential tarot and I'm going to do some clarification. So I want to check out what's going on with this Four of Wands card here for you guys. It's the Emperor. So the Emperor is, here I'll show you guys the card. This is somebody that he really can offer excellent advice to you. This could be even be representing yourself, but you could know somebody in your life that could give you a little bit of like unencumbered advice. You know, he can separate out emotion or this could be an indication that whatever it is that you're doing right now, just leave emotion out of it and keep focused on the business aspect of things. Because it's going to take you somewhere. I feel like I'm not quite done with that card, but it's still not speaking to me all the way. So I'll put it down and we can go back to it. So I've got the 10 of rods here underneath the, the eight of rods. So I think some of you could definitely be feeling like this, you know, where you're just exhausted and you've been on this path for so long and it's like nothing is happening and nothing is happening. But I mean, that's how life is, right? You can go along and go along every like one day is the same as the next. And so you go around on the hamster wheel, but then all of a sudden things start happening. So if you're here, if you're in this mode where you're like, oh, I can't even take one more step, just remember, do not stop. Do not stop. Don't give up. You must keep going because you can see in the background here what the character in the card is looking at is the castle. I mean, which is beautiful. So, you know, you just have to stay focused here with the two of pentacles Focus on yourself. Think about yourself. Think about what you can do. You know, every day, just wake up and think about what you can do today that your future th is going to put you one more step closer to where you want to be in your life. And then we've got the Fool card here under the Two of Pentacles, which I think is a really interesting combination. Because with, when you see the Fool card, it's not about somebody that's stupid it's about somebody who is happy and joyful and going down their path and expecting everything good to happen to them like he's like striking out with of all things a flower in his hand and this some tiny rucksack but he doesn't care because he knows that the universe is going to take care of him you know he's just dead focused on what's ahead of him and doing it in a joyful way and the ships are coming in and something is going to happen fast here, you guys. No doubt about it. The, the dolphin that keeps on coming up. The high priestess. I've got the ace of swords. So the high priestess is somebody that she's just sort of in her own world and very joyful and happy. And that is going to be that, that element about your character that is going to draw in this massive victory. And this is a finance reading. So, I mean... Don't worry, you guys. It's in the cards here for you guys. I think I said you guys twice. I think I need more coffee or something. Oh, I had another card fly out. This is the death card. And I was actually, I wanted to pull another card underneath the emperor because he was giving me sort of a foggy. And then I got the, the death card fly out on the emperor and don't, don't feel like stressed about the death card. It just means that something has to end. So are some of you possibly listening to somebody's advice and they're giving you a really hard time? They're being stern. Um, and meanwhile, you're a little bit more lighthearted about it. That's what I'm seeing for some of you. You might want to just put a hard stop to that. They're like bringing you down to a certain degree. And for some of you, I think you could just be being too hard on yourself. Like if you look at, like the emperor is a very successful person. I mean, he is, he, you know, he's got this laurel on his head and it matches the ace of swords with the laurel here. There's like victory written all over these cards here, but there's an element of seriousness to the point of like almost buckling some of you. So you can put that to a stop because everything else, I mean, with the exception of this guy that just, you know, he's never going to stop. You guys are never going to stop. You're going to keep moving. 
I think somebody's nagging you to a certain degree. And I think you might, out of respect, not be saying something to them. But it's weighing you down in an emotional manner when you want to be here. Like, you definitely want to be um, with the high priestess and like, hey, man, it's okay. And if it's somebody that you care about, and if, if it's you, just sort of, you know, find a way to ignore that side of yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing, you're doing a lot better than you know. And you're a lot closer than you know, you know. I'm going to take a break. I keep on repeating myself over and over with the same phrases. So I'm really sorry about that, but I'm really excited about your reading. So the only thing that I can see that's sort of a little bit of a caution is to um, don't let the serious side of yourself get in the way of this joy that you feel. Follow your bliss. Like just open up your heart and go because you, you've got it going on here in the cards, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I'm going to leave it there and go take a little bit of a break. So I'll see you guys back here next time. Thanks, Virgo. Take a second to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks a lot. Bye for now. Bye.